the booth. The power. The miracles. And his death. All this was done to save mankind from the sins. Welcome to the Hour of Power with Pastor Devon Thomas. Tonight I want to talk about the secrets of the pyramids. All right. And Egypt in particular, as the, to, to start off the subject of our discussion tonight, is perhaps one of the, or if not the oldest civilization in the world egypt ancient egypt brothers and sisters happens to be one or if not the chief or the greatest wonder of the ancient world when we talk about pyramids today the first place that comes to mind is egypt egypt is the first civilization known to mankind the very first king the very first warrior we know in human history was an Egyptian pharaoh whose name is Menes. And he reigned about 3000 BC. He was able to join Upper and Lower Egypt and make it into one great empire. He is credited to have formed the first world army. Is that very clear? Egypt tonight, brothers and sisters, built pyramids as tombs for the pharaohs or the pharaohs or the gods of the earth is that very clear and also for their queens is that very clear observe here tonight of the 80 pyramids that we know about in egypt and by the way western uh scholars they are so baffled by the engineering genius behind the construction of those pyramids and they are so awestruck by the architectural framework of those pyramids that they believe, some of them that is in the minority, that these pyramids were not erected or built by human beings. Aliens were involved in the erection of those pyramids because these brothers actually were able to assemble together stones weighing of course in the tons if you please massive rocks massive blocks of stones and how they had such mindset and such genius to erect those massive structures so friends of those pyramids there is one that still stands today of the many others in Giza, which is one of the greatest of the pyramids built by Khufu the Great, the poly mathematician and the real, uh, the real mastermind behind the building of this pyramid was one by the name of Imhotep. Yeah, Imhotep the Great. I tell you, brothers and sisters, uh, Egypt. Egypt, the pyramids were to allow the pharaohs to have a safe passage into eternity. By the way, the Egyptians were so big on death that every single pharaoh, everyone who ruled Egypt, he, he prepared a lavish tomb. They buried them with their gold and their fortune and even their wives and the girlfriends and their concubines. Yes, the brothers had plenty of women. Solomon couldn't talk to them. Yes, <laughs> Solomon couldn't talk to those pharaohs. Solomon had a, th had a thousand, probably these brothers had two thousand. And I tell you, when they died, all their wives would go down in that pyramid with them too. They died too? Upasa upakatan. I, I believe tonight, and, and of course, and, and, and Africa, particularly Egypt, as the subject, as we begin tonight, of my talk for tonight, I'm one who, who, who I have great 
pride in my black heritage is that very clear the Caucasians have great pride in their Caucasian heritage is that very clear but I have great pride in my African heritage as an African brother as a black brother is that very clear I believe friends of mine that the African continent is not a cursed continent as many Western philosophers and Western scholars they have portrayed Africa to be I believe Africa one day will go back to those glory days as the days of the Faraz. By the way, I have the firm conviction that in the closing work of the gospel, Africa will play a very important role in the, in the proclamation of these three angels' messages. But though Africa tonight is a glorious land, a glorious land of kings and queens, not Watch monkeys as they have taught us in the biology classrooms but real kings came out of Africa yes Africa could be prided if you please with being the greatest among the nations of the world not everything good from not everything from Africa is good I say tonight not everything from Africa is good Yes, there are many positives about Africa, but conversely, there is a lot of negativity about Africa. Observe tonight, friends of mine, that religion, help the preacher here, religion guided every aspect of Egyptian life. The Egyptians were polytheistic. That is, poly is many, and theism God, they believe in a plethora of gods. They had a God for the rain, a God for the sun, a God for the moon. Is that very clear? A God for the earth, a God for the trees. They had many gods, but there was a particular Pharaoh. He said, I'm going to mash up all of these systems of gods. And he destroyed all the temples. And he believed there was just one chief God. And that Pharaoh's name was Akhenaten. Egyptian religion was based on polytheism. They had several gods. Is that very clear? Observe here with me tonight. Their two chief gods were Amon Re or Osiris. Amon Re was believed to be the sun god. And Osiris was the god of the underworld. Osiris was the god of where? Talk to me, the underworld. Tonight I want to talk about the underworld. Tonight we want to take you on a trip on the mystic realm of death tonight. The Egyptian book of the dead contains major ideas and beliefs in the ancient Egyptian religion. It outlined the various magical spells that the pharaohs would actually need to give them a safe passage way into the afterlife. Tonight friends of mine, the Egyptians saw death as a transitional stage to a better life to come they believe they could only reach their true potential only when they died this religion brothers and sisters that is called the ancient egyptian mysteries it, it, it was deeply stipulated in the occult. That is to say, they, they began worshipping themselves as God. And there was another one who, who had this similar concept by the name of Nimrod. He built a tower. But Egypt, the religion that began in Egypt, it, it sprang forth and went through every other part of the world. That religion even influenced many of the sects that lived own sprung forth in the first century and became known as Christians up to a day like today this idea that the dead could talk to the living and that death is just a transitional stage to attain true godhood it has permeated every single culture even tonight the movies it has permeated the movies there are many movies with many occultic themes like the lord of the rings uh, only when you are dead are you truly 
be, uh, 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 only when a person dies, he truly begins to live. Now tonight you better don't budge here. You 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 have to stay awake tonight because because I I want to show you something here tonight. Not only the Lord of the Rings, but Harry Potter and Kelly Rowling's, who is the director of majority of these films and even the books. She says something to the effect that there is nothing like evil. There is nothing like good. It's just positive energy. She 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 actually teaches a type of Zoroastrianism that that says there isn't really any set. Yes, tonight, all of the movies, there is a... Listen here, I, I tell you tonight, the movies are loaded oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. with occult themes. That's why I'm saying here to us every night, we must have that zest. We must have that passion within us to preach Jesus and to live for Jesus because the devil is on a rampage to mash up homes and to mash up societies we must exalt the name of Jesus every day of our lives because he's out to destroy the bible says the devil he's like a roaring lion the brother he's angry and he's hungry tonight he's a liar he's the father of lies and he's there to kill to destroy tonight young folk the devil want to kill you you didn't hear the preacher I say tonight, the devil, he wants to exterminate your life. He wants to terminate your life. But thank God tonight that Jesus is going to give you life. Amen. He's there to give you life. He's there to give you not just temporal life, but everlasting life. Life that has no beginning and no end tonight. You will live throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. Jesus is offering your life tonight. You know, movies like Halloween, there is a strong occultic theme, Sister Bernard. And if you look at Freddy, you know, he comes in your dreams. <laughs> he comes in your dreams and does some cruel things uh, to you. Is that very clear? The movies are loaded. The movies are loaded. And we watch those movies. You know, David says, My eyes will not behold anything unclean tonight. By beholding, we become changed. Yes, I know Seventh-day Adventists, good old Adventists, we burn a lot of fire on the cinema, but some of us don't go to cinemas, but in our homes, it has become a theater for demons. We must not go to the cinemas, yes, but we can't watch these things in our homes. Turn on your TV to watch open Bible telecast. And our, come on now. hallelujah yes let me tell you something here you we, we don't even know what we're doing you see all the problems we're experiencing in st lucia it's demons people playing in them at home and your children are manifesting certain kinds of behavior it is those kinds of movies not only that but even the books we expose ourselves to many occultic and demonic things is that very clear watch this thing here even brothers and sisters tonight various games like the dungeon and the dragons and even the ouija boards and not forgetting more recently with the charlie We explore with devils. We play with devils. We sit and talk and communicate with devils. And we don't know what we're getting involved in. Even brothers and sisters, various movements today, like the women's liberation movement, which has its seat in satanism, and even the LGBT movement, that's satanic. Talk to me, somebody. God says marry a woman. I married a wife. <laughs> Not man and man. That is satanic. You are mentally. Ill. 
is anybody hearing the preacher tonight and I'm, and I'm not here trying to bash you or, or bash your religion or bash your lifestyle. But I just want to declare the truth of God in, 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 in love tonight. Is that very clear? I, I, I understand something here tonight, friends. That if I were to put a mute on the trumpet or try to be politically correct, then I, I'm doing myself and the gospel a disservice. But the gospel does that. It will bring healing to some, but condemnation to others. You see, that's like the sun the same sun that softened the wax it hardens the clay is that very clear that's the word of God tonight while it may bring healing it will condemn if you reject it you know and you sit at home and you listen to Oprah Winfrey the most confused woman I've ever seen in my entire life one day she's a Buddhist and another day she's an atheist. And on another time she automatically becomes Adventist. <laughs> you know, there was this Adventist brother, you know, I think his name is Devon or Devon. I don't know what his name is. But, you know, he married this celebrity, uh, Megan Good. And, you know, he was on Oprah telling Oprah about, uh, uh, about Sabbath and Oprah's. Oh, I never knew that the seventh day was a Sabbath, which is Saturday. And she automatically becomes Adventist. And then another time she's Pentecostal. Help the preacher. She she doesn't know where on which side she is. But tonight God has placed before us two ways. Blessings and cursings tonight. Life and death. I tell you today, choose life that you and your children will live. Choose life tonight. Is that very clear? And even the music and the Tommy Lee, is that very clear? And, and, and the Lady Gaga, is that very clear? And you think these ladies are so cool. And the Miley Cyrus and all of those. And even the Yolanda Adams. And let me tell you, not any song that is going to be sung on this pulpit. You call certain songs gospel, not even understanding these subliminal messages. I'm not telling you Tim Tim Boashes, is that very clear? Uh, on another time, I will come and teach you this thing here. Many of those artists, they are dwelling in darkness. They are all involved in the dark arts. And we want to pattern our lives like them. And the vibes cartel, is that very clear? And the bounty killer, is that very clear? And we want to pattern our lives like them. You know, some young brothers tell me, you know, they are top shatter. Or, or, or you, 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 you meet your other brother and you say, what's up, Gio? What's up, my nigger? I ain't no nigger. I've never seen a nigger in my life. Some people said they don't eat them and I don't buy them. I was fearfully made in the image of God. Is that very clear? I'm not a nigger. All kinds of jargons and all kinds of phrases and you think it's cool. introducing all kinds of stuff in the church all kinds of stuff in your home parents you need to supervise those children and supervise yourself too because some of us we are not any examples can i walk up your alley tonight some of us the children are in the house and we are watching pornography hello somebody say amen out there Tonight, the art of talking to the dead is called spiritism. The belief that spirits of the dead could communicate with the living. I want us to observe tonight a brother by the name of Oliver Lodge. He's a, he's a spiritist. That is one who's very skillful in being able to talk to the dead. And I'm going to show us tonight, there are even some preachers who are preaching that when you die, you go to heaven or hell. And when you die, your soul lives on forever. Preacher, go back to the word of God. I know what kind of Bible you're reading or how you are reading it, but that is...
That's, that's, that's erroneous. That's dangerous. That's wrong. That's sinful. You, you need to come to on God gospel series and learn the truth tonight. I say that's wrong. Visit any of the Adventist churches. Have the elders or the pastors teach you, pastor. That's wrong theology. Is that very clear? Oliver Lodge says. There is no death in the grave. I, are you seeing this tonight? There is no death in the graveyard. I have frequently talked. My Lord, have uh, you, you, you talk with the dead? You talk to the dead, brother? I have frequently talked with the dead. I cannot doubt that people leave after death because I have frequently talked with them. Lord have mercy on him tonight. He ain't even know his demons he's talking to. He ain't even know his fallen angels he's talking to. The Bible declares that when a man dies, he is truly dead. Come on somebody. When you are dead tonight, you are dead. This Egyptian concept, it has permeated all of our society. It says that when you die, you become God. That ain't true. Watch this. Watch this thing here tonight. Mary Baker Eddy. The founder of what we know today to be Christian science. And you know all brothers like Will Smith, all these are Christian science members. Morgan Freeman. You know. Evil has no reality. Huh? It is neither a person, place, nor thing, but simply a belief, an illusion of the material sense. Soul is divine. That's what the Pentecostal pastor is teaching. Pastor, you're teaching a Masonic and a New Age concept that the soul is immortal. The Bible says that the soul that sinneth, it will die. Death is the opposite of immortality. Come on, somebody. The Bible says the soul that sin, it will die. But you're saying the soul can't die. Let, 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 let me show you something here tonight. You know, with the many interpretations there is to this book. The problem is not with the book. The problem is with the interpreters of the book. You see, it's like a tree. See, there is one root, if you please. If we dig deep enough, we will find each other at the root. If you dig at the root of the Bible, at the root of scripture, at the root of the Old Testament, we will find each other at the root and we will have the same conclusion. Tonight, let me tell you this, you are reading various things in scripture and probably because of your lack of understanding of the word of God, you interpret them in a wrong manner. When you read about Lazarus and when you read about the rich man, is that very clear? And Lazarus and where he was in the bosom of Abraham and whether the rich man was in hell you need to understand those types of language in scripture and when Paul talks about being absent in the body and present with the Lord you need to understand those type of language in scripture don't try to miss and twist and misinterpret scripture it never sins wow Hence the immortality. Lord have mercy. Preacher, you're preaching a Luciferian doctrine. I said preacher, you are preaching a Luciferian doctrine tonight. And let me tell you this. Some of you in your churches, your pastors don't even know that. Because they are not digging the scriptures at the root. Observe again, she further states, Let us remember that harmonious and immortal man has existed forever. Death! An illusion. You know what an illusion is? It's non-real. It appears to be. She, says, she says, death, an illusion, the lie of life in matter. Let me say this here. The Bible says, it is appointed to man to die once. 
the wages of sin tonight is death death is not an illusion is that very clear death is a reality it is not illusory any material evidence of death is false the driver alone is in the vehicle he stopped for this guy by the dire building in Viewfort. APMC, you know, he had a whole heap of books and stuff on the seat. So he placed the guy where you would actually put the hearse. Hello? Put the coffin. Huh? The oh, you can make coffin. Coffin, la? Oui. Oh, well, see, remember, I like you, sir. Oh, hearse, la, see, coffin. Oh, hearse, la, Oh, in Jesus' name. Oui. 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 In Jesus' name. So, he met him and he didn't hear him. Oui. So, who's the guy? The guy, the driver forgot the guy was in the back. Oui, that's right. Let me say, he vapor side. La be he la. Bug la fuye la me do van. He said, stop for me. Tiba, he said, he take side. He said, kui. He thought it was a dead person. The death, the dead are truly dead. Your grandfather you are seeing in the dream who told you to drink the mec, uh, um, si mec en toi. and to mix it with lye and garlic and to put turpentine in it. Watch me. That's the devil. You didn't hear the preacher. And even though you got well, that's still the devil. The dead, there is no communication between the living world and the dead world. When you are dead, you are dead. Watch this thing. I want us to observe tonight that spiritualism claims that the dead are alive. Not only that. They can communicate with the living through mediums. Or so I say, I say, I got there, kite, I say, I'm malfeite, I say, I'm sukuyan. You, you, you are gorgeous. And I'm stressing you on this because as Shaimun ka vole en l'église same days la, as Shaimun ka vole en l'église catholic, kite gorgeous. But me says that very clear. Leave it alone, you marginue. You are scratching people, children at night. You are peeping in people's houses. Let it. Yeah. Watch the preacher here. Mediums. I got there, la boy. He can't get there by two moon. And you have all the best people pass off the moon. He He can't get there by two moon. You have all the best people He pass off the moon. Is that very clear? Let me tell you something here. Put your trust in God. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Is that very clear? When you want answers from God, bruise your knee. Some of you need jobs. Et puis maman ou mène en faute. Il mène en point fictionné. Ça c'est bagaille démo en soi. Believe in God tonight to protect you. And this is real. I'm telling you the truth. Don't let some people come near you. Is that very clear? Yeah. Uh, 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 and don't let some people pray for you. Hello? Are you hearing the preacher here? I said don't let some people pray for you. They, they are G on A in you. Is that very clear? I am being real here with you. Because there is a devil. This is why I've been calling you here tonight. Night after night. Repent of your sin. Get baptized. If you don't have that protection. Are free for the devil to do what he wants with you. Mediums tonight, psychics, pretending to know something about the future. 
Peut-être pour nous toute qualité bougie Kali mais Kayo qui fait papi chef go bougie c'est Michael. Let me tell you the only lamp you must have burning in your house is the word of God. It says it's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Burn the word of God in your heart. You don't need any Saint Michael scandal. No sir. Is anybody hearing the preacher here? Yeah. Ou 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 fouet ou swea. Moi ka swe kon sa. Dien laude men. Ou ka gage y sa mou y sa mou swea. Come on somebody. And brethren, this is serious. People get, listen, Pe people, people are destroying their lives tonight. Huh? I, I knew of a young man. Yo di ka fou. Bougla pa a fou zav. Fam bougla vle. Epi bougla ka moute, koui moute desan chime an tou ni. I ka kwa ze bagay an tet li. Sex demons. Yo mene oti yon gade apre lot gade. Can't do nothing for him. Let me tell you, these, these brothers, these soothsayers, I knew of one of them friends of mine. This guy was dirty. This guy sat near the crucifix in a particular place somewhere in Africa. Very early in the morning, I recall that. Yes. Me and another Adventist brother, we went walking around 4.30 in the morning and he sat there bareback just with a boxer and this guy was dirty. He was known in the community to be doing work for everybody. When he died, friends of mine, when he died, he spent many days in his house. He was pété. One of them died a miserable death when on a deathbed. job. Is that very clear? Her face turned like a demon. I'm being real here with you. I said you need protection tonight. Mediums tonight. Watch this thing here. The phenomena of seance can be attributed to the spirits of the dead. Is that very clear? I want us to observe tonight the word of God declares have no fellowship with the goddess. Have no fellowship with the Lord tonight. Have no fellowship with Rosicrucianism. Have no fellowship with any of the secret societies. Have no fellowship tonight with the unfruitful works of darkness. Who's have Sayoka do? Watch me. Let me talk. Let me come up. Let me let me come up here early tonight. All kinds of tout vieves, all kinds of old tricks. If you want to get read of your sin and your bad habits come on sabbath let us dip you in the water some people send you in what they call a day glow where the sea and the river meet yeah let me tell you this that ain't the work of god if you want answers tonight come to god hallelujah have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but reprove them, expose them, trample them. Is that very clear? Have no fellowship with them tonight. Watch this. Tonight, we want to ask the question and answer it. Can the dead communicate? Can, can we communicate with the dead? Is this possible according to the Bible? Is that very clear? Should Christians even try? Watch what the Bible says. Do not what? turn to what? Mediums. Do not turn to what? Mediums. Don't turn to psychics. Amen. You know, even Ronald Reagan, yes. this great leader of the United States of America, you know, he had his personal astrologer by the name of Joan. And the thing is, friends of mine, every single move Reagan made from his meetings to administrative decisions, even when he came to elect this guy, Anthony, this uh, uh, 
uh, associate uh, chief justice this is of the of the u.s supreme court he was the one who elected him into office and about three months later he was endorsed by the senate he actually got word from his personal astrology to tell him to do that at that specific time. It was around 11.03 that day. He had to make that announcement at that specific day. You know, everything he would consult, Joan, and even when the first assassination attempt on his life, it was his astrologer, according to him, that helped save his life. Let me tell you something here. Even men at the highest office are involved in this thing. Even in St. Lucia, if you please, if I was brave, I would say it but because i'm not brave i won't say some politicians in st lucia are involved in witchcraft yes. uh -huh. but i ain't brave i won't say it that's true it don't say up about it some churchmen are involved in it. Some deacons are involved in it. Some priests are involved in it. Pastors too are involved in it. Calling themselves prophet. They are using water and spewing water on people to cast demons. These are tricks from the devil. Yeah. Is that you do it the Bible way or no way? How I saw the apostles did it. They prayed and they laid hands. And there was power in those genuine prayers. Is that very clear? Because what they preach match what they lived. And when you preach and what you match. And when you preach and it is matched by what you leave. There is power there tonight. Is that very clear? There is power. Amen. No demon can counteract that. Even though the devil tried, he could come with all his ammunition, but no weapon formed against the people of God tonight could prosper because Jesus is the winner, man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do not turn to mediums. I know some of us might be tempted. Because you are saying to yourself, oh Lord, I've been praying all those years. I've been kneeling. I've been crying to you, oh God. But how come I still have the cancer? How come I still must expend so much finances at the doctor? Wait on God. Wait on God. He will heal you. Or oh, necromancers, these are... This is a type of practice which is worshipping the dead. And in the Catholic churches, you're worshipping the dead. Father, stop worshipping the dead. All souls day. And I'm going to say like it is. That's paganism. You have the people praying for dead people. Praying to Mary. Mary is dead in a grave tonight. That's satanic. You, you, are, you are crazy to be praying to dead saints. Oh, Peter, pray for us. Oh, St. John, pray for us. Oh, St. Andrew, pray for us. Oh, Mary, pray for us. Do you not know they are dead and in the grave? They are dead and in the grave. Only one was dead and he's alive forevermore. Jesus. That's Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, it's Jesus. You can't do same hour. We... That's a female demon tonight. Is that very clear? And I'm not trying to ridicule your religion. And if it sounds like that, that's all right. Is that very clear? I'm not trying to do that. I'm saying here tonight, how dare you have people praying for the dead? The Bible condemns that practice, Father. Archbishop, do you not know it? How do you read the scriptures tonight? Is that very clear? You can put it by two saints. That's very clear. Pray to Jesus tonight. Pray to Jesus tonight. He will answer your prayers. He will heal your sickness. He will cure your cataract. He will cure your cancer. Pray to Jesus alone tonight. Watch this. A man or a woman is a, who is a medium. Or has a familiar spirit shall surely be put to death. If you were living in the Old Testament days, you would have got to God there. As a matter of fact, this is one of the things the ancient world among the Hebrews they hated most. Two things were the gays and the goddess. Let me tell you something here. If you dare got involved in witchcraft, they would cut you out from the camp. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. That's 
Kavini l'église. Tous les samedis. Hello? Tous les dimanches, vous avez l'église. Ah, you are praying to that God, but you don't believe in him. We don't believe in him to heal us. We don't believe in him to cure us. And then some of our young people today, they even join the lodge. Thinking that they will get some type of security in the lodge. Let me tell you something here tonight. Hear what the Bible says. With all of your crystal balls and your tarot cards. And your telepathy or telepathy, however they pronounce it. And all of your horoscopes. And the Pisces and the Sagittarius and the Scorpio. All of these are personifications of the devil. All of these came from, came from ancient Greece. The Bible condemns all these things. Listen to me here. I don't need any star or any any celestial body in the sky to tell me my destiny the bible says before i was born or before i was in the womb god knew me he says even before your mother conceived you have given you a bright future my life does not align with any star or any galaxy or any city of stars i know of one star the bright and morning star that's the root of david he's the bright and morning star he's the chief shepherd he's the he's the he's the rock on which we stand tonight his name is jesus when you come into the land when you come into this church That the Lord your God is given to you. You shall not learn to follow the abominable practice of those nations. Watch the abominable practices. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering. Anyone who practices what? You want me to dance on that? That is the art of trying to contact the dead world you are trying to invoke dead spirits okamete uh hoshu in the your, your doll post kisao ko ka fea suni sa ka utie se pou sa pa ka we pièce clété This is why you're home. You have so many problems. That's why your finances are wrecking. But let me tell you a little secret here. Don't mind those you see driving all the big cars and they're living in the big houses and they have the big jobs. And a lot of them are involved in the lodge. Don't worry, you know. Very soon the, the wicked will be cut down. It's not very clear. But the righteous will be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. It's not very clear. And we will blossom because why? Our confidence is in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't need to join any secret society to become rich. Because my father is rich in houses and land. He holdeth help the preacher. He holdeth in his hands. The world tonight. This is my father's world. Why should my heart help the preacher? Everything in this world belongs to us. Or a fortune teller or interpreters of dream of course I'm not trying to say that I don't believe in dreams because the Bible says that in the last days your sons and daughters they will have dreams is that very clear I believe in dreams tonight is that very clear but not every dream is from God you always have a dream but is that very clear how comes God never gave you a dream for yourself first Take out the wax from your eye first. Listen, listen, listen. Those watching us via the television, open your ears wide tonight. Watch this. Huh? Or sorcerers. That's the sukuyon. That's the creole. Or charmer. Or necromancer. Or one who inquires of the dead. You can point ash moon. You can make your ash Wednesday. 
Just so you want me to get disease or what? A new, uh, uh, let me give the news. The, let me give the disease a new name, necromophilia, because necro is from the dead. That's when you Ash Wednesday you'll get necromophilia. And because of these abominations, hear what the Bible says. Your God is driving them out before you. Hear what Isaiah says in chapter eight and verse nineteen. When men will tell you, consult mediums and spiritists. Who whisper and mutter. Hmm. Not a Watch this. Yes. You're toujours near Sigwe. <laughs> Hello? Because you have a little pain in your elbow. Um, where we met Salai, bon, vieux I'm serious here now. Yes. And, and, they are, and they are telling you, well, you know what? You know what? Listen to me here. Now, I'm not saying here that the devil does not try to attack the people of God. Yes, that is true. But I know that the Bible says that when we are covered in the blood of Jesus, is that very clear? The devil cannot overcome us. Is that very clear? Paul says, though we are tossed on every side and we are kicked on every side and we receive tribulation on every side, but, but our faith is resolute in God Almighty. So watch this here. So because you see a frog in your home, Because you see a rat in your home. Be they have a rat in your home. You in Jetwin this morning. You in Dibara from Babano. You in Castries and you in Grosile this morning watching us. There is a rat in your home simply because you leave food in the... <laughs> Roaches are in your home because you left. There is residual food in your sink. Is that very clear? Yes, sir. Or are you living in the bush? <laughs> Centipede is coming in your home because these days it is hot a lot. That's right. It's not no. You, 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 you too superstitious boy. Well, well, when you see that, go down on your knees and pray. Is that very clear? Ask the Lord to bless you. Ask the Lord to anoint you tonight. If when they tell you go and seek mediums, hear what the Bible says, should not a people inquire of their God? Why console the dead on behalf? of the living tonight let me come up some people's alley tonight those of you who think astrology is so cool and what is your sign and every morning on the radio they must listen to the horoscope and see what luck that's why you ain't getting no husband because you're too much in horoscope that's why you ain't getting no wife because you're too much in horoscope. You need to be in Adventism. Is that very clear? You need to be in Jesus. Is that very clear? And you could tell me I'm preaching religion. Yes, I'm preaching religion because Jesus says there is one fault. Yes, sir. Yeah. Play with me here. Why are you in Islam? I ain't Islam because of the same reason I ain't a Roman Catholic. I ain't a Baptist tonight because Baptist preaching against Sabbath. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist tonight because as we read the scriptures, what this church teaches is what the Bible teaches. Somebody say amen out there. Astrology. So, it'll tell you well, your sign is Pisces. So you will have a lot of good luck. Usually, people of that sign, they are very nice persons and they get angry on rare occasions. Your husband will be a Caucasian, very tall, and he'll have a lot of money. SP to you. Is anybody hearing the preacher here? Come to church, put yourself in a right relationship with God, and he'll give you a tall, a handsome, dark skin, or fair skin, professional, Christian man, in Jesus' name. 
and you have money too. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You, 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 you getting on like you don't want a, a man with money. <laughs> watch this. The Bible says, uh, watch, watch what astrology is tonight. Astrology is a form of divination. Divination is trying to acquire secret information or discovering the unknown or attempting to foretell the future through sources other than the word of God. Now let me show you something. They have some people who are telling you and they are using those gifts wrongly. Eh? One of these days we will do something on the gifts of the spirit. There is one that is called discernment. Is that very clear? There is one that is called discernment. Some of them think they are prophets. And they are telling you, um, in the name of Jesus, is, is there a man living by your home? He's troubling you. Uh, Tell me, yes. You, you, you're looking for someone to fit that profile. God ordained you to be a preacher. Preach the word in righteousness. You, you, you want to... Um, Sow a seed in the man of God, and the man of God will bless you. So, that one is common. They've made religion into a mockery, giving themselves all kinds of titles like prophet. Prophet is too cheap of a title. Let me tell you something here and I don't mean this to say anything here if you have to bring Moses back and bring him in the 21st century you see Moses had to deal with Pharaoh but we have to deal with some prime ministers and some presidents if Moses must come back alive and see those presidents those prime ministers those governors is that very clear and those governor generals Moses saying Lord I ain't have enough juice for that if God had to bring back Lot from Sodom and Lot had to see all of those gays and lesbians and when Lot would hear about this supreme court ruling, Lot would say, Lord, I ain't have enough juice for that. Yeah. Prophet is too cheap of a title. Astrology is incompatible with the true religion of God. Astrology tells us the heavenly bodies determine our personality. Not God tonight. Hear what the Bible says. Hear what the Bible says quickly. If there be found among you within any of thy gates. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Man or woman. That hath wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God. In transgressing his covenant. Watch this. And have gone and served other gods and have worshipped them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts in heaven. This is what astrologers do. They worship the stars. Which I have not commanded. Hear what the Bible says. And it be told thee that thou hast heard of it and inquired diligently and behold it is true and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought in Israel. Watch what the Bible says in the latter part. That person they shall be stoned till they die. You know all of the tarot cards hmm? and the crystal balls. I say tonight only God could know the future. Is that very clear? Only God could predict the future. The Bible says you have no idea what your life will be like tomorrow. You are a puff of smoke that appears briefly and then disappears. Only God alone is God. That is my name. Bible says and my glory. Will never give to another. Amen. Tonight, quickly, friends of mine, let me just deal. Uh, let me just deal a little bit with the reality of death. Tonight, 
the deaf know, the dead know nothing. I don't know if watch no call. Listen, this is the word here, you know, tonight, brethren. This is the word here tonight, you know, brethren. I didn't come here to form the fool, you know, brethren. As a matter of fact, my son is right now is in the hospital because his fever is high. Don't watch your watch. If I have to watch watch, it's me that have to watch watch, not you. I have to go all the way to Miku tonight. Stop watching your watch and listen to the word. Some of us must get word in our life to cast demons out of you. Amen. My son is at a hospital. I am the one who must watch my watch. Stop watching your watch. In Jesus' name, say amen out there. Amen. The Lord will take care of him. In Jesus' name. That's why I tell you his fever is very high, but I still came to preach tonight. Because I came on business. Is that very clear? For the living know that they shall die tonight. Everybody who's alive know one day you have an appointment with death. Oh yes. But the dead. The dead know nothing. So they don't have any more of a reward. Is that very clear? For the memory of them is forgotten. Your grandmother you are seeing in the dream. That is talking to you. But she's dead 15 years now. That's the devil. Is anybody hearing the preacher here tonight? Also they love. They can't love. Is that very clear? You never buy not even a chocolate for her when she's dead. Because you know she left fortunes and millions. You want to come and play and do a hypocritical cry. We honor people when they are dead and right. Give Ella Miller all the praise while he's alive. Buy me all the bow ties while I'm alive in Jesus' name. Is that very clear? Give people their roses while they are alive. You know, there was this man. Mitch used to bruise his wife. Lick down the lady, sister. So, on the day of the funeral, They read the eulogy. So the lady is wondering, who is it that they're describing there in the coffin? <laughs> but the lady was so weak. She didn't, of course, you know, ladies, they're physically weak. And, you know, some of us men, we take advantage of ladies. Let me tell you something here. A, a woman, a woman, God chose a woman to bring forth the, the God man into the, you must respect ladies in here. Is that very clear? Respect every young lady as your sister, as a real empress, as a real queen, as a real princess. Is that very clear? Treat them with respect. Don't abuse them verbally, emotionally. Treat them with respect. And so the brother, he never respected his wife. He, he physically abused that lady all the time. He got his ajoulette, ma. When everybody had said all what they had to say about me. The lady did the unthinkable. In the coffin, slaps all over. Me ponchos. Because he's dead. He can't love. He can't feel the rain. He can't receive love. Neither could he reciprocate it. Is that very clear? Neither they have any more portion forever. Your grandmother is dead. She can't come back in a dream. The big question is tonight. If the dead are unconscious and cannot return... Who or what is responsible for the strange phenomena or in the seance? And you know, they usually tell you they have near-death experiences. And they saw some light as if at the end of the... Is demons you see, innit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hear what the Bible says? For they, in Revelation 16 verse 14, for they are the spirits of... Devils. Working what? Miracles. Working what? Miracles. So the devils could work miracles. Yes, sir. 
Not every church you see pastor performing miracles and people coming in on, 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 on crutches and they're going back. Is that very clear? Let me tell you something here. The devil could perform miracles. The criterion to know which is God's church is not just miracles but the proclamation of the truth. And who go forth unto the kings. I tell you. That's right. yes. In all the politics and all the election. The number of lives they take to win a seat. You think it's a joke thing. They go over to Haiti. Is that very clear? Some of them go over to Africa. This is not Tim Tim Boaches, you know. I'm telling you the truth. Some of them. I tell you. They are working the works of the devil. Yes. Watch this. Huh? Let me show you something here tonight and we're going to close. What spirits are there? The Bible says, and there was war in heaven tonight. Hallelujah. When Michael steps on the scene, that's war. That's bloody. That's, that's the real showdown. You think World War II was something? Let me tell you. This war was the war of all wars. Is that very clear? And there was war in heaven. And Michael and his angels, and they fought. And his angels and the dragon and prevail not neither there was any place found in heaven and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent tonight called the devil tonight called the diabolos called the accuser of the brethren called the father of lies called the god of the abyss called the satan the hasatan which deceiveth the world he was cast into the earth that's where he is and his angels were cast out with him that that's why the Bible says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come with great wrath. But tonight we will cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. So, the first medium mentioned in the Bible was a serpent. That is true, you know, Sammy. Ella Sam, that is true. It's not a fairy tale. The devil took the form of a serpent. Yes. It means therefore that the devil could take the form of animals. Yes. And enter your home. Yes. Hello? Some of you are going and sleep with a Bible under your pillow. The Bible mustn't be under your pillow. It must be in your heart. Amen. A Bible under your pillow can't save you. And so tonight, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I just want to touch on there and then we're going to close tonight. Death tonight is as a result of sin. For the Bible talks about the creation of man. And it says here that God, he formed man from the dust of the ground. And man received a living soul. I said, man, became a living soul. He never received a living soul. I am. So you have living soul. Watch this. You have, rather, you have dust of the ground, which is the material, the physical, plus the immaterial. Now in mathematics, you know, there are modern and less than signs. And when you have two lines that are short and they run parallel to each other, when you put them just after an equation, it means whatever is on the left side of the equation is synonymous to that on the right side of the equation. Is that very clear? That's the equal sign. So you have the matter plus the immaterial, which is this divine spark that God places in every man. Is that very clear? This, that divine spark, which is the, the rock, which is the breath of life, plus the nefesh. Help the preacher here. The matter plus the, the, the ruach, which is the breath of life, makes me a living being, a living soul. I don't receive a soul. Your soul is hovering over the casket. That is not biblical. Watch this. 
The Bible says in death there is no activity. Death is compared to sleep which simply means to imply it is a state of unconsciousness. The dead are sleeping tonight but there will be an awakening tonight. Is that very clear? I say there will be awakening tonight. Is that very clear? For the Bible says there is a resurrection. Believers will receive a new body. However, we have no detailed information what this body will be like but the Bible says at the last trump, help the preacher, the dead in Christ shall rise first oh if you die in Jesus tonight you will come again your body may have been cremated have the preacher yeah, your fish could have eaten up all your eyeballs and taken various parts of your body in the sea in various parts of the ocean but at the last trump have the preacher here born will meet bone and, 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 and that cremated body God will assemble the ashes tonight and he will put it together. He will bring the dead who died in him back to life. That's why death I ain't afraid of death tonight because if I die I will die with the blessed hope and I will come in the first resurrection. Hallelujah. Oh yes tonight friends of mine there are only two biblical passages where the word immortality is used and it is never to human beings. It is always applied to God. God alone tonight, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16, have immortality. And so scripture tonight never presents the soul as some ghostly part of us, but we are souls. Even the animals are souls. They are made up of the same chemical composition as human beings. Biological makeup. It's just that we have reasoning capacities and they don't. Is that very clear? Is that very clear? Observe here tonight, friends of mine, that as a result of this teaching that the dead could talk to the living, it gave birth to purgatory. That when you die, you go to a place where your sins are purged and you must pay the priest big money. They were telling you pastors like money. The priests like more money because look at all throughout the ages. They stole all the gold from Africa. Somebody say amen here tonight. They do penance and indulgences. That's what sparked the reformation and Martin. Martin Luther saw the crooked aspect of these guys. Indulgences, prayers for the dead, and mass for the dead. Even constant burning in hell. Veneration of Mary and saints. Even in Hinduism with reincarnation and spiritualism tonight. But I declare for such men who teach these things are false apostles. False apostles tonight. Tonight, friends, death is sure. But life is also sure. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is everlasting life.